What is going on guys? Gray here today. Let's talk about how to gain rapport with Ember. And it seems this time in the High Isles chapters, Oz did a better job of giving us more options to gain rapport than we had last year with the first two companions we received. Now remember, some of these things have cooldowns on them, so you may not gain as much rapport during the cooldown period. But let's go ahead and hop right into how to gain or increase rapport with Ember. First of all, completing a Mage's Guild daily, completing a Thieves Guild heist without time bonus, or completing a High Isles daily quest will give you plus 125 rapport. All three of those do have a cooldown. Harvesting a rune stone, killing wolves, or killing uh, werewolves are all plus one with no cooldown. So you can harvest as many rune stones, kill as many wolves, or kill as many werewolves as you want, and you will get plus one each time. Looting a safe box or thieves trove will give you plus five rapport, then plus one for each additional safe box or trove during the cooldown period. Uh, winning a Tales of Tribute card game will give you plus 10 and then plus 1 for each additional game during the cooldown. Pickpocketing a guard will give you plus 10 then plus 1 for each during the cooldown. Successfully getting away after choosing the flea option when accosted by a guard will give you plus 1. There is no cooldown on that. Invoking the clemency perk after being accosted by a guard is plus 10 with no cooldown. Entering a restricted area, so trespassing, breaking in somewhere is plus one every time with no cooldown. Fencing a purple quality stolen item is plus 25 and then plus five for each additional item during the cooldown. Selling a purple quality item to a regular NPC vendor is plus one that does have a cooldown. Completing a tip board quest in the thieves den is plus five that also has a cooldown. Using the counterfeit pardon edit is plus five without a cooldown. Entering an outlaw's refuge or a thieves den is plus one with no cooldown. And summoning the big ear ginger kitten or witches uh, infernal familiar pets is plus one with no cooldown. Now there are a few things that decrease rapport with Ember of course. Like I said, it seems better than it was with the companions we got last year. It seems like there was more things that decreased rapport than that gained it really. Uh, with Ember, there are a few things that we just talked about the gain rapport that will also decrease if you start getting caught. So getting seen, pickpocketing, looting a safe box, or stealing from a container, or killing an innocent NPC is negative 10 rapport. Getting killed by a guard is negative 5 rapport, and that has no cooldown. Uh, willingly paying a bounty to a guard after being caught is negative 25, then negative 5 for each additional payoff during the cooldown period, which is around 30 minutes to 1 hour. Choosing the flea option after being accosted by a guard will give you negative 10 rapport and getting spotted while in a restricted area. So if you break in, you're trespassing, you get spotted, that will be negative 10 rapport and it does not have a cooldown. So you'll get negative 10 rapport every time you get spotted. Anyway, guys, I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do with Ember to gain rapport and what you need not to do uh, with Ember so you're not losing rapport. Hopefully, uh, we can get these new companions ranked up fast. If you're a fan of companions, get rapport ranked up quickly. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.